This conference will now be recorded. Hi, this is Karen O'Brien with FlowGD Software, and I'm going to do a quick overview of the Levy tool that is built into the QGIS plugin. So the Levy tool uses uh, four layers. It uses Levy lines, elevation points with the Levy um, membership, elevation polygons with the Levy membership, and the levies, this, this is the levies layer that gets created. This is the levy tool here. What we're going to do is use it to create a levy along this dam. So what I did was I took a levy data from the dam. Let me go back a couple. Let me grab the data so you can see it. All right. And I just digitized a series of points and exported them into this XYZ file. So I'm going to show you how to use this data. So I'll let's minimize this. If I click the tool, you'll see that you have four different ways to assign levies. We're going to start by importing the external lines. So I'm going to grab that points file that I made. And when I import that, it's going to write the data to the levy line and to the elevation points with the correct assignment. So now my levy is imported or is, is saved into these two uh, tools. Now, if you look at the data that we created in these tools, you can see here that I have a levy line, but the levy line has no elevation. So I'm going to give it an elevation just so that we can see one of the ways to do this. So the elevation is 1400.50. That's just the crest elevation. That's So that's the levy lines, the data that you need. You can have an elevation. I didn't like that, didn't like that. 1400.50. And maybe come out here and save it and close it and see if it liked that better. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now we have an, an elevation and you can also enter a correction in here and that would add a correction to uh, an additive correction. So if you wanted to subtract, you could put a negative number. If you wanted to add a positive number. This is the elevation points. This is the information that you need for elevation points. So you have an elevation uh, value you could have a correction, and again, it's additive and a levy membership. That's important. And then to, so we haven't written the levies. All we've done is imported them into the user layer. The next step would be to write them. So I'll click the button again, and we will get rid of the user elevation with polygon. We don't want that right now. We just want, actually, let's we'll just get rid of both of them. Let's just make our levy with a single method. So we're only going to use the levy user line and not the point. So if I click OK, it's going to write levies, and if I come down here, if you zoom in, you'll see them. You can see them in red behind the, they can see they look just like a standard Flow 2D levy. And if you come down here to the levies table, you'll see that, got to open it again. You'll see that you have the levy, the levy ID, the grid element ID, the cutoff direction, and the elevation, and the elevation is uniform. Now, if you use this other method, if you use the elevation points within a search radius and the user lines, again, the, the search radius doesn't have to be 10. Uh, my points are right on the line, so I can just put that to a lower value. That's probably important, and then I'll just click OK. And then now it's assigned again. And if you look at the table again, you'll see now that the values are not uniform. So now the values kind of go along with the elevation data that I extracted off the map. And then the final method for making levy assignment would be to use the polygon. Now in this polygon, the only thing that I did was I put the correction field. So I gave it the levy membership. I created a polygon, I gave it a levy membership, and I gave it a correction of five feet. So I'm going to use the levy user line and the, and the user elevation polygon and click OK. 
and the values are assigned and I just want to show one more thing that the polygon is just this polygon right here and then again if we look at the values you can open your attribute table and you can see that we went from 1400.5 it used the levy line as your elevation and it added five feet to that now let's try one more um, method I'm going to close this one more time and I'm going to click it again and this time I'm going to use all three and then click OK uh, again let's change that to three and click OK and now let's see what this did okay now and now we see that we have uh, data that has the additive correction but it's taken from the points and not the levy okay so I'll go ahead and close this and that is all I wanted to show about using this levy tool so that is the end of the video